very good morning students so today we are starting with our next animal which is fasciola hepatica it is also known as the liver fluke that is a common name so in this particular video we will be emphasizing on the basic structure of fasciola hepatica so let us start with it fasciola hepatica is commonly known as the sheep liver fluke flukes they commonly inhabit the liver and the bile ducts of the vertebrates like cattle, sheep, goat, it may be pig, dog or even man. But commonly fasciola hepatica is found in the sheep so that's why it has got a common name the sheep liver fluke. Now this particular animal the fasciola hepatica it belongs to the class Trematoda. So Trematodes are basically all the parasites. So they are commonly called as flat worms. The phylum of this liver fluke is Platyhelminthes, which means flat worms or flukes. So Fasciola hepatica, they have a very flat leaf-like body which we will be discussing later on if we talk about the habits and the habitat of fasciola hepatica it is an endoparasite because it is present inside the body of the host now if we are talking about host we should know that it completes its life cycle in two hosts the primary host is the sheep in a study it has been found that a sheep can have near about 200 flukes and the second host or the intermediate host is the limnia so this is a snail which is found in a pond so that is the intermediate host of this particular animal now we are starting with the external morphology of fasciola hepatica so the body of this animal is very soft it is oval in outline and it is dorsoventrally flattened so you may take it as a leaf like structure so it has got a dorsal side and a ventral side it is about 1.8 to 3 centimeters in length and maximum width is near about 1.5 centimeters from the very middle region the body tapers towards the interior and the posterior sides so it is sharp from both the sides if we talk about the color of this animal it is pinkish or grayish and it is very transparent and we can even see its elementary canal or the internal organs very clearly as you can see in the diagram this particular diagram shows you the external features of a fluke so first of all on the very top we have got a mouth and this mouth is surrounded by an oral sucker so this is a sucker which can suck the bile or the food inside the mouth next to the oral sucker we have the genital pore so this is the pore which is responsible for the reproductive processes that's why it is called as a genital pore now after this we have the second sucker which is the ventral sucker it is also called as acetabulum and this particular sucker has got no mouth in the center it doesn't have any mouth in the center so it is a blind sucker and it is only for the attachment of the fluke to the surfaces inside the host so it has got two suckers first is the oral sucker and second is the ventral sucker or the acetabulum next we have 
the excretory pore at the very end. So whatever urine is formed inside the body of fasciola hepatica, it comes out of this excretory pore. So these were the pores or the external morphology of the liver fluke. One thing should be added over here that the body of fasciola hepatica has got a particular cuticular membrane outside it which is called as the tegument. So this tegument is the outermost layer of the body of fasciola hepatica. This particular layer it protects the fasciola hepatica from the internal juices of the host. This layer, the tegument, it has backwardly directed needle-like structures which are called as spinules. And these spinules are also helping in anchorage and locomotion. So along with the ventral sucker, these backwardly directed spinules, they also help in anchorage. This is again a beautiful picture which is showing you the internal organs of a fluke. So the internal body organs and the organ systems will be discussed in the next video.